Good morning, everybody, and happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, October 7th, and here are the announcements for today. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silence. Thank you, you may be seated. Well, today we are wishing a very happy birthday to Brianna Frau and Connor Stump. Happy, happy birthday to you. And here is Wednesday's news from Dr. Lopez's Nest. Good morning, Wise Owls, and happy Wednesday. Boys and girls, today we would like to welcome our second through fifth grade students in the schoolhouse model. They are back at their nest. Um, and we'd like to welcome you and wish you a very, very successful and productive first day back at Oliver Hoover Elementary School. Boys and girls, if you'll notice that you'll, we have a new and improved Oliver Hoover Elementary School. We have our, all of our hallways are one, have one way um, directional signs. So please make sure that you look carefully to make sure that you're going in the right directions. Uh, we also have our stairways. Um, they, they, go one way only. So please also look at look for signs to make sure that you're using the proper staircase. And we also have new hours. It's um, the ones that we've been having this year, but they're different from last year. So all of the boys and girls enter school at 835. And on Wednesday, everybody is going to exit at 205. So um, our primary students, it's 205 every day for our th uh, second through fifth grade students. We leave at 3.05 on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and on Wednesdays, 2.05. So today being Wednesday, we have early dismissal. Everybody will be leaving at 2.05. Boys and girls in the MSO model, don't worry. We will be seeing you soon, we hope, that we will all be united again. Boys and girls, as you know, during the month of October, we're focusing in, on, on the core value of responsibility. Um, and responsibility also means that you keep your promises to others, that you take care of your belongings, and that you do what your teachers and your parents expect of you. And something else that you can expect, boys and girls, is that we'll be having our value matters. We won't exactly have an assembly this year. We will be having classroom meetings, but those will be taking place very soon. So we hope to be seeing all of you then. Teachers um, in the schoolhouse model, also we placed updated class lists in your mailboxes. Please make sure you check your list very carefully. And if you see any students in your class who are not on your list, please notify the, the office immediately. We definitely appreciate your help with that. All right, and now my favorite part of the announcements, classes with 100% attendance. And I'm delighted to say that we went up, we had 95.0 and we went up to 95.2. It's not 98, but that's okay, because boys and girls, we need to take care of ourselves. We do want to have a very high attendance rate, but only if you're feeling well, okay? So if you're not feeling well, you need to stay home, rest so you can feel better, and then come back fully focused to learn a lot in school. Now, our classes with 100% attendance, we didn't have a very good day in pre-K yesterday, but in kindergarten, we had Ms. Blanco and Mr. Rodriguez with 100% attendance. In first grade, we had Ms. Heaston and Ms. Monroe. In second grade, we had Ms. Heaston, Ms. Monroe, and Ms. Rubio. In third grade, we had Ms. Chavez, Ms. Sanchez, and Ms. Vidal. In fourth grade, we had Ms. Bonin, Ms. Patino, and Ms. Vidal. And in fifth grade, we had Ms. Coolen, Ms. Ferguson, and Ms. P. Rodriguez. So congratulations to all those classes. We hope to see more names very soon. Now, those are all my announcements. I wish everybody a wonderful Wednesday. Thank you. All right, so as Dr. Lopez said, today we are welcoming back our second, third, fourth, and fifth graders, and those students who are staying in my school online, that continues as usual. Students, like Dr. Lopez said, please watch for the signs that tell you which way to go in our building. They're all over the place, so don't forget to look for them. And parents, all students who are coming back to the school building will be receiving, if they haven't already, a sign with their child's name on it to display on the dashboard during pickup. We try this every year and it's usually not very successful, but we're hoping we're in the middle of a pandemic 
people will help us out. So parents, when you receive those signs, those pickup signs, please use them. Keep them in your car. And when you come to pick up your child, put it in the dashboard to help everybody make pickup smooth and easy. Also, teachers, don't forget there's a faculty meeting this afternoon. And hey, teachers and parents, have you joined the PTA yet? What are you waiting for? Go to ohes.memberhub.store to join our PTA. Our Hispanic, Hispanic Heritage Month moment today is meet Jorge Ramos. Jorge Ramos is a Mexican-born American journalist and author, regarded as the best-known Spanish-language news anchor in the United States of America. He has been referred to as the Walter Cronkite of Latin America. He has covered five wars and events ranging from the fall of the Berlin Wall to the war in Afghanistan. Ramos has won eight Emmy Awards and the Maria Moores Cabot Prize for excellence in journalism. He has also been included on Time Magazine's list of the most influential people. And here is our Wednesday wisdom for today. Each morning we are born again. What we do today is what matters most. So make the most out of today and every day. Have a good morning and have a wonderful, wise Wednesday.